Okay, we're, we're back live again. We had a little uh, service interruption, uh, some internet glitches, uh, but uh, I've, I've got Steve back with us, and we, we were, um, we were before the interruption, just talking about, um, you know, the types of heating systems and, and identifying, you know, the differences between furnaces and boilers and, and, uh, and, and what people, you know, would typically do uh, in a replacement situation, and uh, just to reiterate, you know, if, if someone has a, a furnace system, uh, they're, they're going to be replacing it most likely with another furnace. And same goes for a water system. Uh, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Typically, if you have a, a furnace, a warm air furnace, you're replacing it with a warm air furnace. If you have a boiler system, you're usually replacing it with another boiler. Right, right. Now, as far as the replacement goes, I mean, it's it's not like... You, you know, a one-hour job. Um, so, what what's the impact on the homeowner? You know, what, what can you set some of the expectations on? You know, how the whole process happens. You know, the timeline involved and, and the interruption to someone's household. Yes, uh, typically we try to keep the interruption to a day or less, as far as you know, being without hot water if they go to a boiler system. We'll try and get that side of the boiler hooked up, you know, first so that um, they do have hot water and, you know, you continue on with your normal household duties and chores and things like that that you have. And then we'll, um, you know, we'll get the heating system part of it hooked up second because uh, in today's world, hot water is, uh, seems to be more important than heating. <laughs> um, but it, it depends on the size of the system, but typically it's usually no more than a day. Sometimes it'll, you know, it'll be two or three days on a boiler. It just depends how large the system is and maybe what renovations or changes the customer wants us to make to their system, uh, whether they're switching from, say, natural gas to propane or switching from heating oil to propane or natural gas. All that plays into it because there's different things. You might have to remove heating oil tanks and, uh, you know, some of the older boilers are so large you have to cut them apart to actually get them out of homes. So, you know, all that plays into it. Um, the, the warm air systems, usually it's uh, less than a day, unless, again, there's, you know, uh, new duct work that needs to be run, something like that. But uh, usually a day or less uh, is an average install. And, and we set that expectation all up front for the customer, letting them know, you know, how many days it'll take us to complete the job for them. Sure. Yeah, I, I, and I imagine you know the specific situations of, of that house, the setup, uh, accessibility, uh, all that plays a factor into you know the impact of the timeline. Correct. Yeah, it could be a basement. It could be an attic. Uh, you know, it might be a second floor, or uh, you know, it just depends where the install is. Some units are even outside the home, so it's. Uh, you, know, you just run into a lot of different situations, and like I said, we set that all up front for the customer so they know exactly what we're going to be doing. And and then as far as you know, removing the old system, um, you know, cleaning up all that kind of stuff. I mean, you you guys do all that, right? Correct. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna remove all the items, and you know, everything will be nice and neat and clean, and uh, you know, you'll have a you'll have your basement back. <laughs> uh, you know, it'll. Uh, it's, you know, we just want, we want it to be better than when we left, you know, than when we arrived. We want to make sure that we have everything removed that we had in there, no dirt, no dust, you know, that kind of stuff. Exactly. I, I can't tell you how many times I've had, you know, contractors, um, you know, not do that. And, and it's, it's always a surprise to me. I mean, I, I was brought up with that mentality, leave things in a better condition than when you arrive. Uh, and it just, it, you know, customer service 101. Um, so it's it, it is it's nice to hear contractors who actually implement that and, and act on it. Yes, yeah, we want to make sure that everybody's completely satisfied with the work that we've done. Awesome, awesome. So um, I, I, I want to wrap it up because I, I know you're you're on a, a handheld device now, and, and uh, you know we had some internet glitches, so. Um, you know, we'll pick up another interview uh, with Steve, and, and, and Steve, if it's good with you, we'll talk about some of the other services that you do, you know, outside of the heating uh, specter, uh, because like you said in the intro, I mean, you, you have a whole patio line, um, you know, and that, 
you know, right now we're, we're filming this. It's uh, approaching Thanksgiving time. Uh, it's cold, uh, it, you know, but, uh, but you do. You, you have patio heaters, uh, awnings, uh, patio furniture. So, you know, I, I'd like to, you know, further this conversation with some of the other product lines that you have. Sure. Uh, I mean, we hope we don't get to use them this January like we have in the last couple of years. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'd rather be... Uh, delivering heating oil and propane to the customers and installing new heating systems for them uh, instead of thinking about air conditioning and uh, hearth and patio <laughs> awnings in January. But uh, it's, yeah. yeah, we'll do all aspects for the customer. Awesome, awesome. And just, just to wrap up, um, people can reach you at your website, www.rfohl.com. Um, this, this video was being streamed on your blog, which is blog.rfl.com, uh, and you have a Facebook presence, a Twitter presence, uh, and, and all those links are available on your website. And what's the main phone number that people can call you on? Hey, Steve, can you hear me? 610-377-1098. Oh, okay. Great. Yes. Okay, um, so that's pretty much a wrap for today. Uh, Steve, you have anything else you want to add? Uh, no, nothing at this time. Okay, awesome. So thanks for joining us, and uh, Steve, thank you for your time, and we'll be in touch. Thank you. Bye. Take care.